Of course, the people of Alu Sunnah wal Jamaah, the scholars of Alu Sunnah Jamaah, recommended to recite Surah Yasin on that night. Surah Yasin. How many times? Three times. Recite them three. Yes. You can recite in a congregation like most majlis is. For example, if I'm not wrong, Majid Rabita has his own. Their mosque or masjid near your houses do have their own programs. Do them. I myself uh, is invited but very far away. Stadium very far. Why recite Yasin? Why never recite Toha, Maryam, Ankabut, Ambiya, Surah Hud? Because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentions that everything has its own heart. And Al-Quran is his own heart. The heart of the Al-Quran is Surah Yasin. Right. Unintentionally, by reciting Surah Yasin, you're reciting the name of Prophet Muhammad, which is Yah. Yasin. You can recite Surah Taha, no issue. It's also part of worship. But for you to find where is Surah Taha, is the question not to get it. Because we rarely recite other than Yasin. So to make ease on the community, Right, they decided to sur- to research Surah ya? Yasin, and of course Yasin is one of the most important surah in the whole of Al Quran. Rasulullah mentions Surah Yasin lima kuriat lah. Surah Yasin is recited to what the intention for. So the first intention of Surah Yasin to be recited is for the purpose of long life, fruitful life. Feel with ibadah, feel with piety. That's what we want. It's not just long life, but no piety in it. That is worthless. The first lesson. Why I tell you now? Because if you're busy on that day, there's this jamaah who oh, oh, said, "Usa, I don't think I can think, attend any of the gatherings. Why? Because I've a walimatul urus in Johor. So where do I sit? He said during the jam lah. You have more than enough time for the jam lah. Either you enter or you exit. Right? So for the first session, for that purpose. Fruitful life, long life, piety in it. Second one, ah, that one. Ease in provisions. Rizik, halalan, toyibah, mubarakah. Provisions. That provisions are important for us But at the same time We don't need to tie ourselves Just to strive for it Last Thursday Last Thursday You see when you When you become the imam of the prayer time You see I'm, I'm the imam For Masjid Delta during Zohor And they have a lecture after that So at that they will give names right? Either in hospital or those in spas there's this elderly who came over and gave me names. When he gave me the names, they were quite sad. So I said, are you close to these people? He said, yeah. First is my nephew, and then second is my son-in-law. That means you're quite attached to these two people. Yeah. They passed away quite recently, I said. I said, what happened to the first one? The first one, his nephew, worked as a grab driver. How did he die? At the age of 31. 31. 31. 31. He died in his grab car while waiting for passengers at the airport after midnight. So when they see why isn't he moving, they knock on his door, he's already collapsed. Cardiac arrest. Heart attack. People searching for provisions. People work hard. Too hard. Too hard. They died. 31. Because they say the youth who drive, they all out. 20 hours, 18 hours one time. Of course, the elder, they have certain stamina. There's the limitations. But the young, the youth, all out, all out. He died in his car. And then the son-in-law. Son-in-law was a foreigner. Right? So he came for a wedding in Singapore. And then I think because he had not enough rev, 
you know, they have weddings here for a week and they come back to this country in Europe. Then just the day, the next day he started working. Why are you working? He just has a cardiac arrest and died. 35 years old. 135, 131. One searching for provisions, one is beyond his control. Maybe too tired. Huh? So we ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah may ease of our provisions. Right? So you ask to read the night of Nisru Sha'aban that Allah ease our pro provisions. Right? Allah ease our provisions. For the second yah, second yasin. The third yasin is to ask for Jannah, ask for paradise, and ask for Husn al Khatima for ourselves, <coughs> for our family, and the next generations of our family, which is very important. So never just pray for your own, pray for others as well. Because there are angels who make these <coughs> supplications that whatever that you ask from Allah for others, that He prayed for you as well. Uh, right? So the third yasin is to pray and supplicate for Khusr al-Khatima a good ending and the paradise for you, your family and the next generations. This means you have done your part. What do you mean you have done your part? Usa, I see them now very naughty but you have prayed to Allah. Maybe not during your time but for sure when it's time for him to change, he will change. Because guidance in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not is beyond our control. Allah says, <coughs> Prophet Muhammad says, Ya mugalibul gulu wal absar, is that bit gulu bana ala dinika? Oh Allah who moved the heart of his servant. 